this article is based on the regulation of gene expression with thyroid hormone in rats with myocardial infarction with Kate Hetherill, Isra Saleh and Israt Shah. The aim of this article it investigates the expression of genes that alter once the thyroid hormone is given to the rats after a large myocardial infarction. In this experiment, 25 rats obtained results and some were excluded. There were two groups tested on. Both included MI, but one group was a control referred to in the article as sham MI. This group was not administrated any drugs. The other group was, give, was given thyroxine referred to as MIT4. This is a diagram of myocardial infarction, which is a blockage preventing blood flow to the heart. The blockage is often made up of cholesterol particles. The left side of the heart pumps the blood around the body and is often the side that the blockage occurs. This leads to left ventricular failure. Heart failure, occurring on the left or the right, is a physiological state in which cardiac output is insufficient in meeting the needs of the body and the lungs. Often termed congestive heart failure, or CHF, this is most commonly caused when cardiac output is low and the body becomes congested with fluid due to an inability of the heart output to properly match the venous return. LVF leads to respiratory failure, including symptoms such as tachynea and increased effort of breathing. Crackles will be heard in the lung bases and the development of pulmonary edema, cyanosis, which suggests severe hypoxia is a late sign of extremely severe pulmonary edema. Thyroid hormone is important in cardiovascular development and homeostasis. T4, also known as thyroxine, is a thyroid hormone usually taken to correct the levels of thyroid hormone deficiencies also known as hyperthyroidism. The drug is shown here in its molecular and structural form. The drug is given in this research paper to test for increased response to left ventricular remodeling after a heart attack. This study used several methods to carry out the test. Method one, gene clustering. Gene clustering, by applying the log transformation of the data and the hierarchical clustering which was applied, and the results were visualized by using tree view software. Gene clustering is one of the first steps in gene expression that is a set of two or more genes which serve as a purpose for encoding the same or similar products. Clustering is a method of grouping data that shares similar trends and patterns. The advantage of this method is that it allows researchers to measure the expression levels of, for thousands of genes simultaneously across different conditions and over a period of time. Method 2, Western blotting also known as the Western hybridization or protein immunoblot. It is a technique used to detect specific proteins in a given sample of tissue homogeneity. Gel electrophoresis is used in this process with the use of native proteins by 3D structure or denatures proteins by the length of the polypeptide. The proteins are then transferred onto a nylon membrane or a nitrocellulose membrane which is then probed with the labelled antibodies specific to the target protein. This can then be detected by autoregeography. In this experiment, other methods such as real-time PCR, polymerase chain reaction, microarrays and ELISA, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, were also used. Part 1, gene clustering. For this result, gene cluster analysis was done by using a cluster software. The red is when the gene is up-regulated and the green is when it is down-regulated. On picture A, the genes whose expression was increased by MI, but it was reduced or normalised by T4 treatment. Picture B shows that the genes whose expression was decreased by MI, but normalised by T4 treatment. And on picture C, genes whose expression was reduced by MI, but not reversed by T4 treatment. Last but not least, picture D, the genes whose expression was increased by MI but, re but not reversed by T4 treatment. Result to thyroid hormone regulated gene expression after MI, Western blotting. The resultant bands in figure 1 were visualized by chemoluminescence and the average density units were obtained by digital imaging system in figure 2. The image is analyzed by densitometry, which evaluates the relative amount of protein staining and quantifies the results in terms of optical density. You can see that MI bands are the most dense, therefore there is a very high level of expression in those cells. 
This test was done in duplicates to make the results more reliable. The gene is most expressed in rats that had MI. Signals detected in the 13,188 genes out of a possible 22,523. Expression of the 154 genes were decreased and the expression of 200 genes were increased in the MI rats compared to the control MI rats. Six genes down-regulated by MI and 12 genes up-regulated by MI were reversed by T4. Left ventricular remodelling post-MI is a very complicated process involving more than 400 changes in gene expression, Stanton et al. These changes occur at 2, 4, 8, 12 and 16 weeks and involve both temporal and spatial changes. 101 genes in the interventricular septum tissues were changed significantly after four weeks which show that the majority of changes occurring would have featured in this study, but not all. Most genes involved in these changes were involved in intracellular communication, metabolism, cellular component synthesis, and gene expression. Thyroid hormone therapy has been proven to increase cardiac contractility, improve LV remodeling, and induce both cardiac hypertrophy and angiogenesis. In conclusion, the altered expression of genes for molecular function and biological process may be involved in the beneficial effects of thyroid hormone treatment following MI in rats. This study only looked at the four weeks post MI and the change in cardiac gene expression, but the remodeling of the left ventricular wall may have effects after the four weeks studied. There may be temporal differences and the gene expression may exist. This study has shown that the thyroid hormone can increase cardiac contractility, reduce apoptosis and induce cardiac hypertrophy and angiogenesis. There are inevitably other benefits to use of the T4 post heart attack. On a molecular level, including non-genomic actions and changes in microRNA expression. Once more, studies have been commenced and observations been made for a period longer than four weeks. The benefits will be outlined more clearly.